Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review and here we have the Infinity Saga Marvel Legends uh, Rescue Armor and Captain Marvel from Avengers Endgame. Uh, so let's go over the packaging here. So first you get the Avengers Endgame logo here in the middle, furnished on top. Captain Marvel Rescue Armor, Infinity Saga logo there. Here is the starter, which we've seen before with the Avengers A, all the characters. Um, Infinity Saga logo. Here is the Avengers Endgame poster with description of Captain Marvel and Rescue. And then here's the other side art here. And then here is the top with the Marvel Legend. No. Uh, Avengers Endgame logo furnished on top. Captain Marvel, Rescue. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. Um, I think this is a Amazon exclusive FY. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. And here is Rescue and Captain Marvel out of the package here. So first, we'll, let's go over Captain Marvel because I do have the uh, previous Rescue armor figure. And we'll save that for last for comparisons. So here we have Captain Marvel. Uh, if I'm being honest, I was not a big fan of how she looked in the movie in Avengers Endgame. Uh, I, I actually liked how they switched her back up. Spoiler warning for Shang-Chi. By the way, uh, she showed up. And in Shang-Chi, and she looks way better with the longer hair. I think they updated the suit, if I remember correctly, back to the original look. Um, but yeah, let's go over the accessories first. So first, you get these, like, open, relaxed hands, or uh, hands to hold the gauntlets. So yeah, pretty blue, pretty much blue. Uh, never seen these hand sculpts before, so they're brand new also. So yeah. And then you get some really wide open hands here. Uh, I'm guessing for her to do the flight look i guess i don't know how to describe what these are for really but yeah you get those these are brand new also so yeah then the other accessory for her is the gauntlet uh which everyone basically plays with um toss around with so you get all the stones in there you get the power space reality soul mind and time you get the great details in there uh, you also get some gray details in there and the divots and the red look. So, yeah. The sculpt looks great for it, though. I like it a lot. And then, yeah, you can have Spider-Man holding on to it. Black Panther. Uh, yeah. And then that's what we got for accessories for Captain Marvel here. So, let's bring her up close. So, yeah, this is a very accurate Brie Larson head sculpt, especially from the movie with the short hair. Uh, you get some blonde there, and it gets darker near the scalp. Was not a big fan of the short hair for, in the movie. And then you get the eyes there. Looks like they're green or blue, if they'll, my camera will focus. There we go, kind of green. So yeah, really accurate head sculpt there. And then here we have the suit. Uh, so yeah, you get the gold star look there. You get the blue for the arms and shoulders, you get some gold detailing in there. Red in the inner part of the arms, biceps. And you get some more red detailing here with some blue outlining around it. And then down the abs, and you get the separate piece for the waist, which is basically a scarf. You get this gold piece there. Let's get some more gold in there. Here's the back. They actually added detail in the back too. Get some gold around there, around the lights. And then you get the pants here with some red. You get the blue, uh, red around the knees. And then you got gold around the calves. Here's the back. You get some blue outlining there too. And then the boots with the heels, somewhat heels. Uh, but yeah, I, this figure is pretty cool. I like the look of it. Uh, I mean, it's pretty accurate to the movie. Um, but I was not a big fan of the movie look anyways. So let's go over your articulation. So she has a uh, disc ball joint head sculpt. I mean, a head joint. Shoot, I can't talk. Um, head can hinge down that far, up that far, left and right. Some head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out that far. Uh, pads are soft plastic, but don't go too far. Otherwise, they'll probably peel off. So it only goes down that far, up that far, I mean. 360 rotation there around the shoulders. Single jointed elbows. You can pivot it if you want. 
Uh, wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. She has a ball joint at the diaphragm. So only go forward that far, like none. Backwards just a little bit. Uh, side to side there. You can get her to go side to side there also. Legs can kick out that far. Forward that far. Backwards none. Thigh cut. Double jointed knees. And then ankles can hinge down that far. Up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And also they still have the pinned joints for the knees. And here we have the rescue armor here. So we get a bunch of accessories for this one. So let's go over those first. So first you get the rescue helmet here with the white eyes, some silver detailing around the gold face plate there, kind of shiny purple there, some gold detailing triangles there. Sculpt looks great. Same sculpt as the last uh, figure. I think they may have just used a different purple. We'll go over a comparison with the figure I have right in front of me, but we'll do that after we go over the figure here. But yeah, looks great. And then we get this other head sculpt here with the faceplate moving up and you get to see Pepper Potts' face. And it looks pretty good. Looks like it. Uh, you get the blue eyes, the lips look good. So yeah, looks pretty accurate. And then you get this piece here, which we've also already gotten in the last figure too. Um, so yeah, you get some silver de uh, paint in the inner part. And it looks like we get some gold. Nope, never mind. That must have been a weird mispaint or something. I don't know what's happened in there, especially in this one. And then you get the holes in there for events. And then you get the shiny purple with the armor number there. You get some more gold detailing there rescue more detailing and you get the peg there to plug it in her back and then you get these black uh, gunmetal gray pieces here that can move up so yeah there's that and then you get two blast effects which we've seen before transparent blue where it gets more clear towards the tip and then you get these two little flaps here that you add on to her back here so yeah uh you get some blue detailing in there for the lights or repulsors and then you get this pivot joint here you get this like little peg thing here that you plug it in and it should rotate around it i need to figure out how that works still these also hinge up and down and you get the sculpt there not a lot of detailing in there though it's mainly in here with all those blues same thing on this one too they're both the same thing but yeah and I think in order to use them, I think you have to actually take these out. Like that. Take these gray pieces out and then replace it with these. Kind of like plug it in there. I think. I don't know. I should have watched other reviews to figure that out actually. But I think you're supposed to do this. Alright, a little off camera work here. And then this is what it should look like here. So yeah, I just popped these little gray pieces off and then just put those hinges on there. It's a little bit of a pain. So if you're going to do that, I had to make sure that you're going to keep these on for a little bit because they're a little bit of a pain to put on. But yeah, this way it kind of looks like in the back there. So yeah. And then that's all we got for accessories. So here is rescue armor here. So this is a different head sculpt also. Uh, this one's the fully unmasked Pepper Potts head sculpt. Uh, you get her in a ponytail with the like ginger look, but except it's like mainly blonde with some more darker blonde in the creases. You can get the blue eyes, jawline's crazy. And then uh, you get all these silver and gold detailing around the torso, abs, you get the arc reactor there. You get some silver detailing here in the between the trap uh, triceps and biceps. And then you get these like gauntlets here with the vents with some gray silver um, detailing paint there. Same thing on the other side. And then you get this other piece here which you can also just pop off, which I dropped. One second. So yeah, this is what it would look like if it was not open. And you got that armor number there rescue whoa uh and then yeah you get all these other flaps in there with the peg 
And this is what it looks like at the back. Not a whole lot of detailing until you put this on. And yeah, not much to go talk about in the back. And then moving down the legs, you get these gold detailing pieces, silver, some gold on the knees. Looks pretty good. And the boots, you get peg holes down the bottom. Uh, but yeah, let's go over your articulation. So her head is a disc ball joint, so she can go down that far. Uh, not with this figure. Uh, this head sculpt can't go up that much unless you want to break that ponytail there, which I don't want to do. Left and right. Uh, no head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out just that far. 360 rotation there. Biceps full. Double joints at the elbows. Uh, wrists can hinge down that far. Up, not a whole lot because of that gauntlet piece there. She has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so forward that much. Backwards quite a bit. Side to side. A lot of it, actually. Jeez. Uh, you get some rotation there. Legs can't kick out that far. It's a little hard because these pieces are a little bulky. Uh, legs can't kick out that far. Forward a little bit. Thigh cut. Kind of hard to do that with the piece there. Uh, double jointed knees. Ankles can hinge down that far and then up that far. And then a little pivot, ankle pivot there. And then here's the Infinity Saga rescue next to the Endgame Hulk build a figure uh, rescue. So, yeah. Um, you can tell that the purples are a little different. This one's like a more of a blue mix with it, with the, whereas this one's like a metallic purple with it, lighter purple. And the gold are different too. This one's definitely a really gold, whereas that one has like a bronze, gold, silver look to it, which is kind of like accurate to real life. Um, but the paint is kind of one-to-one, -one except for the gauntlet pieces. Um, maybe a little bit on the f these back pieces here. It's pretty much proportional. or not, You know, this is the same sculpt. Uh, they're both the same figure, basically. It's just different paint jobs for them. Uh, this one has a more blue arc reactor and eyes. This one's a white look, which is way better, I think. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about before besides the paint uh, there. This one has a little bit more marbling, whereas this one doesn't really have any marbling. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, that's Captain Marvel and uh, Rescue Armor for you. I do recommend you get them, get them if you're going to try to recreate like a shelf for uh, Avengers Endgame. Especially, I would get uh, recommend you get if you don't have Rescue. But I mainly got it because of this Captain Marvel because I'm doing like an Endgame shelf. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of how she looked in the movie, but this is a pretty accurate figure, so I just grabbed it. And I like the accessories for uh, rescue that they added in. I don't have like a pepper pots figure or anything like that. Um, and then they have all these different head sculpts for rescue, which is pretty cool. And then you also get this nano gauntlet, which is also a really cool accessory to add in. Um, because then you have all these characters tossing around to each other, um, and recreate that scene in Endgame. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, they're pretty cool figures. Um, I would say just this is basically the same sculpt as the Captain Marvel wave. It's just a repaint and a new head sculpt with some new hands. Uh, I don't know where you're supposed to put these for rescue. I guess they just gave you extra blast effects if you want to add them to Iron Man's. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got for these figures. Um, like I said, they're awesome. Uh, but um, yeah, make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description. It has my Twitch TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. But besides that, thanks for watching.